Bhagirath, so let's start your power plant snap for your NPCIL interview. Yes, okay. sir. So Bhagirath, uh, what is a power plant? So power plant is uh, basically a, uh, a, a system like a, which works on a cycle, uh, which used for uh, power generation from a low grade energy to a high grade energy. It works on any thermodynamic cycle or mm -hmm. system. Asha, why we produce electricity? Like any power plant, if you will observe, whether it is hydro, nuclear, thermal, solar, always we produce electricity. Why? Sir, uh, it's an industrialization and uh, it's common need for every human for mm -hmm. their, is their life and uh, to run the industry or as we see around us, like nothing can be possible without power. What do you understand by captive power plants? So captive power plant are uh, power plants which are uh, designed by the, any company by itself. So they use like they use power plant for their self plant only. If example, if example is a utility, they extract the steam or steam or they use the bleeding. Uh, use the bleeding principle of steam for their uh, process industry and second thing for the run the motors or high, high power compressors they take the power from their own power plant they like a any plant uh, there is a system there is a separate uh, part for a kept cpp that is captive power plant installed for their personal use only so those, those, so they, they, you, you heard about uh, topping cycle and bottoming cycle uh, power plant which sir Topping cycle and bottoming cycle. You heard about that? Topping and bottoming cycle. Yeah, top cycle and bottom cycle. Topping cycle, bottoming cycle. You heard about that? Yeah, it's about uh, that uh, mix. The type of combined cycle power plant. Combined cycle power plant, yeah. You heard about that? Topping cycle. Yeah, not much. Like I basic idea, it's upper part is based on gas turbine power plant and lower is on steam power. What do you understand by the rated power? What is rated power of a plant? What is the difference? Yes, yes. What is rated power of a plant? Rated power. I think it's it's capacity. Okay, what is the difference between rated power and maximum load? Maximum load is uh, like when demand is maximum. Uh, for the whole day, so so, so that difference that power, of, difference of that rated power and uh, maximum load is known as what? क्या बोलोगे आप उसको? तो बोलेंगे सर हम rated power or maximum power maximum fluctuation something that is a kind of reserve power reserve power yeah captive power is for that reserve power okay uh, Bhagirath, you know, on a power plant, uh, we are having multiple different kind of loads like agricultural, uh, domestic, commercial, industrial. Yes, sir. Okay. So there is very important factor associated uh, in relation to these different kind of loads attached to the thermal power plant. And that factor is known as diversity factor. So can you tell me something about that diversity factor, Bhagirath? A diversity factor is a uh... Like ratio of the maximum power of uh, every individual uh, channels, like for agriculture industry, and uh, to the ratio to the divide uh, divide by the maximum rated capacity of the plant. So diversity factor will be always greater than one or less than yeah. one. It will be greater than one. So what idea idea we are getting from that diversity factor? Ah. Uh, Diversity is a, a, you know, very important word. We use uh, many at many places. Biodiversity. India is having diverse culture. You know. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it gives the proportion of the power that consumed by different sector, and uh, like to get idea, like what happened when every every sector has a maximum demand. So our power plant should be capable of supplying that power. But the nuclear power plant, thermal power plant, these are kind of what kind of plants? Like the base load or peak load plant? What, sir? 
न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट एंड थर्मल पावर प्लांट हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट दीज आर बेस लोड प्लांट और पीक लोड प्लांट एक्सट्राशन ऑफ द Okay, what do you understand by regeneration? So regeneration is something like uh, that has to be generated from within the our system. Like uh, for example, we take about gas turbine. So in gas turbine, what we do uh, from intermediate turbine, we uh, from the exhaust of the turbine, we uh, we with with help of the ejection, we create the uh, compressed air. so that we need to supply less amount of uh, uh, com- uh, less amount of calorific value to the that gas so uh, basically it reduce the efficiency of it increase the efficiency of cycle uh, via waste product or within the systems of our power plant so can you show me that regenerative brighton cycle what is the difference between simple brighton and regenerative uh, brighton cycle? Just give me a second. Okay. Yes, done. So this is open cycle, Brayton cycle. You have shown. Yes, sir. So what is the advantage of carrying out this regeneration, Bhagira? Sir. due to regeneration like uh, the waste it that is going to surrounding or atmosphere which can be used to breed the compressed air so that we have to supply the less amount sensible it to the gas turbine so in power plant also we use open cycle or we use closed cycle in power plant mm-hmm. yeah we use uh, this closed cycle sir. why what are the advantage of using a closed cycle power plant over the open cycle sir in uh, like this what is it this closed cycle uh, mm-hmm. basically we need to use the high cal- means the quality of fuel must be good because in uh, like closed cycle there are two heat exchanger so same amount, same heat will be same flow will flow around same gas will flow around around the uh, that closed cycle so we can ex- uh, add the heat with the, with the, like we can place combustion chamber outside the plant uh, outside the cycle and we can uh, burn any quality of coal or any quality of gas out there so which can be used to heat heat the our flue gases but in case of this open cycle it is a internal combustion cycle basically so we need to have a good quality of fuel to run the power plant mm-hmm. okay bagira uh, in a brighton cycle suppose we are increasing the compressor uh, pressure ratio pressure ratio mm-hmm. we are increasing so what is the advantage of carrying out uh, you know increasing the pressure ratio by increasing the pressure ratio For same maximum temperature. Hmm. 
Ah yes, maximum temperature is printed obviously. It will be same. Mm -hmm. So if we increase the compression ratio, uh, so basically we assume that it is reversible adiabatic compression. So T2 will be T1 times uh, pressure ratio into gamma minus one upon gamma. Mm -hmm. So exhaust temperature at the compression will be would be higher. Mm -hmm. So we can say like uh, the heat addition. No. So heat addition from the combustion chamber would be somewhat lesser than earlier cycle. So efficiency is going to decrease or increase? Okay, just tell me higher pressure ratio in comparison to simple Brighton results in what? Like if you're using the higher pressure ratio, higher compression ratio in comparison to simple Brighton, the efficiency is going to increase, decrease or remain constant. It will be going to increase. Sir. Okay. Now if you will talk about uh, regeneration only simple mm. Brighton with regeneration, the mm. efficiency is going to increase or decrease. Yeah, it will be increased. It will increase. Mm -hmm. Now, collectively, suppose we are carrying out uh, high pressure and uh, regeneration, then the efficiency will what increase or decrease? Uh, can uh, mm -hmm. okay? Now, now, Bhagirath, suppose uh, if I will carry out uh, this uh, intercooling as well. Hmm. What what is intercooling, Bhagirath? So intercooling basically it's process that takes place intercooler like uh, for the multi-stage compression mm -hmm. if it if you're using multi-stage compressor so after first stage like it it it's also increases and it's uh, like to decrease to cool that one intercooler that heat exchanger used to decrease the heat at constant pressure so again in next stage it will require less work as compared to high high temperature cases Bhagirath, what kind of you know thermodynamic cycle we use in a nuclear power plant? In nuclear power plant. Yes, sir. What what do you ask, sir? What kind of thermodynamic cycle we use in a nuclear power plant? Oh, nuclear power plant we using Rankine cycle. Rankine cycle. Hmm. Basically, its source of heat will be nuclear power here in case of that uh, pole. You heard about the breeder reactors, Bhagirath? Yes, sir. What What are these? What do you understand by breeder reactors? Actually, I studied in engineering engine like it is a uh, something. Okay, you heard about pressurized water reactor. Yes, sir. PWR. What are these? <clears throat> it's like it's indirect type of uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, like in normal water, I think uh, directly our working fluids water. You studied that part or not? Uh, nuclear power. Not, not, not sir. So you are going for NPCL and you are not uh, going through the basic details. So you revise karna padega, Yeah, I will study that. What is critical point, Bhagirath? What do you understand by critical point? So 
so critical point uh, is a point where uh, it's not uh, we are not able to identify which phase it either liquid or vapor like basically it's point where that liquid directly convert to vapor without any latent of latent heat of how much vapor. how much is the critical point for water uh for water its temperature is 374 degrees centigrade and uh, pressure is around 221 bar what is half life you heard about half life yes sir kya hota hai ah uh, basically it's follow exponential growth e, e raised to power minus i have to study sir to clear that okay 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 bagirath i think now for uh, i can provide the feedback okay so bagirath aapka power plant ka knowledge to theek lag raha hai you know when we are carrying out uh, regeneration efficiency badhta hai प्रेशर रेशो बढ़ाने से भी एफिशिएंसी बढ़ता है बट कलेक्टिवली कैरिंग आउट प्रेशर रेशो एंड रिजनरेशन देन द स्कोप ऑफ रिजनरेशन इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज एंड एफिशिएंसी इज आल्सो गोइंग टू डिक्रीज तो जब हमें हाई प्रेशर रेशो यूज करना होता है तो वी नीड टू यूज इंटरकूलिंग हाई प्रेशर रेशो बढ़ने से आपका रिजनरेशन का इफेक्ट कम हो जाता है तो एफिशिएंसी घटना शुरू हो जाता है आर यू गेटिंग बगैर हम्म हम्म इट इज गुड टू यूज विद इंटरकूलिंग कंप्रेशन करेंगे इंटरकूल करेंगे देन द स्कोप ऑफ रिजनरेशन विल इंक्रीज एंड द एफिशिएंसी विल करवा भी सकता था आपसे पूछ सकता था बट आप वहां आंसर कर नहीं पाए टॉपिंग साइकिल बोटविंग साइकिल हम यूज करते हैं कंबाइंड साइकिल पावर प्लांट में टॉपिंग साइकिल में क्या करते हैं जो हाई प्रेशर स्टीम है ना उससे तो पावर जनरेट करते हैं और जो लो प्रेशर स्टीम टर्बाइन से निकल रहा है उसको यूज करते हैं प्रोसेस हीटिंग के लिए अच्छा बोटविंग साइकिल में हम क्या करते हैं ये जो मैंने बताया हाँ ये बोटविंग साइकिल में क्या करेंगे हाई प्रेशर स्टीम से हम क्या करेंगे प्रोसेस हीटिंग कर लेंगे फिर लो प्रेशर स्टीम जो निकलेगी उसको हम पावर प्रोडक्शन में यूज करेंगे सर हाई प्रेशर स्टीम का पावर और लो प्रेशर नहीं टॉपिंग साइकिल में हाई प्रेशर स्टीम से पावर और बोटविंग में रिवर्स हो जाएगा तो इसको देखना आप कंबाइंड साइकिल पावर प्लांट में हम इसको यूज करते हैं बाकी आपने बताया था पावर प्लांट आपने अभी रिवाइज नहीं किया तो पावर प्लांट को अच्छे से रिवाइज करो कैन डू टाइप रिएक्टर्स क्या होते हैं पीडब्ल्यू आर प्रेशराइज वाटर रिएक्टर क्या होते हैं ठीक है सम बेसिक्स अबाउट न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन फ्यूजन बेसिक्स अबाउट न्यूक्लियर फ्यूशन फ्यूशन प्रोसेस और ये जो डिफरेंट पार्ट्स होते हैं थर्मल न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट में हैवी वोटर या जो भी हम कूलेंट्स यूज करते हैं तो क्या रोल होता है उनका ठीक है इंडिया में पहला थर्मल पावर प्लांट कहाँ लगा था और किस तरह के थर्मल पावर प्लांट हम यूज करते हैं इंडिया में ठीक है मेजर चैलेंजेस क्या है न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट के साथ जैसे आप फ्यूल का ही आप ले लो तो वो फ्यूल से रिलेटेड कुछ क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछ सकते हैं ठीक है ठीक है बगरा तो ये चीज करो एंड अगेन यू कैन अपीयर फॉर स्नैप डन सर आई हैव सम क्वेरी सर मेरे को फोन करना क्वेरी है तो अभी एंड करना पड़ेगा मेरे को फोन so करना थोड़ा देख चलो जल्दी पूछो फिर सर ये जो सेंट्रिफिक uh, कंप्रेसर uh, वाला जो पार्ट है वो मतलब अगर पावर प्लांट सब्जेक्ट बोलते हैं तो वो भी मतलब वो इंक्लूड करके या टर्बो मशीन में डालते हो टर्बो मशीन भी मैं कर सकता हूं बोल सकते हो अगर आपसे पूछते तो आप मेंशन कर सकते हो सर आई हैव नॉट रिवाइज्ड आई हैव नॉट कवर्ड मशीनरी पार्ट तो आप बता देना बट वो कर सकते हैं पूछना चाहे तो इंटरव्यूर कहीं से भी पूछ सकता है बट एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ मशीनरी या टर्बाइंस की हम बात कर रहे हैं कंप्रेसर वो मशीनरी में आ जाता है तो पूछ सकता है चांसेस कम है अगर आप पावर प्लांट मेंशन करोगे तो दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क मच क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पावर प्लांट ओनली मशीनरी से पूछेंगे नहीं बट पूछ सकते हैं कुछ बेसिक्स करके रखना स्टीम टर्बाइन और हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन वगैरह कंप्रेसर का तो बेसिक्स देख लो अदरवाइज सेपरेटली इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू कवर डन 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 थैंक यू ओके Thank you.